This entrepreneur thing, I would say it's definitely a lifestyle. Someone called? Karen speaking. You guys don't need the physical building to be there to start your work if you have all the drawings and everything. Correct. Yeah. Do you want to um, just email them over to me and then I can take a quick look at them and yeah. just see what state the drawings are in? And another thing is, is it easier to build a brand new shell? Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. 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 Yes. Yes. Because we can do whatever right. we want. Whatever we yeah, want. I, and there's no I surprises. Was, I'll tell you one thing, Karen. If you do this and if we get this site and if you do show me your um, you know imagination and your magic you won't you won't believe what kind of a product we can oh improve. yeah we'll do amazing things I'm I'm more than confident about that so yeah good I'm excited I'm okay, gonna be thanks. a little bit tied up in the morning but I can give you a show back later this afternoon that's fine that's fine okay. yeah okay sounds good All right. Okay, good morning YouTube, how's it going? It is midweek, it is a Thursday morning. It's a beautiful August morning. I don't know why, lately I like talking to you guys about the weather. I don't know, maybe that's a Vancouver thing or a Canadian thing. We like to talk about the weather a lot. But anyways, I am at Suki's Hair Salon in Kitsilano. Lip gloss, bag, this, this. How's it going? Hey, how are you? Good. Hey. You're okay to be on our YouTube channel? I am. Okay, good. I am a big fan of you. You are? Oh, oh that's so you good. You. You, really? Oh, uh -huh. that's great. You look fab. Oh, I love your dress. Oh, thank you. You look so good. Awesome. You guys know Carly because we did my bridal hair video. Was that three years now? Two years ago. So Carly is responsible for me going dark. Yes. which I have been loving. When Carly did my hair, she did an amazing job because it's faded, but not that much. Whereas I've had my hair done before and I've left, it's faded in like two or three weeks. I wouldn't mind if there was like a little bit more movement. Okay. So what we can do is I'm gonna, still, I'm gonna do your root color because yeah. you have one color all the way through. Your hair's gonna look very flat and lose the movement. Yeah. Okay. Like even a little bit more depth here, you're getting a little bit more of a volume. Yes. Anyways. Yeah. So I'm going to do your root. I'm going to do okay. a few soft yeah. pieces. And then everything that's not in a foil, I'm just going to pull that color through just to hide your thing. Like, okay. Brush that as well. If I leave and I look like that, that'd Wait, be amazing. I would be the happiest person. Okay, me too. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, We're on the same page. Up. Okay, you cool. Want anything else to drink? No, I'm good. Oh, actually, maybe a water. So many of you guys have been commenting on this color. Thank you but for that. It's making me feel good about being dark brown again. Anyways, gents, if you guys are watching this, this we're gonna we're gonna be talking about hair for a little bit this morning. So if you're not into this, you might want to skip halfway through this video. <laughs> oh my God, Diane, this is this is off the hook. This is this is coming off the chain right now. Are you gonna say yes? Yeah, I'm gonna say yes because I love the company. Oh my God, is it a company that you love? That's so cool. So cool. Okay. How do you sleep? <laughs> How do I have kids? How do I throw kids into the mix of all this? If this is just, if this is crazy. You know, that, that's the thing that like stresses me out a little bit. Like, because all of this stuff is happening and you work so hard for your career to get to a certain point. And then right at the point when you're, when you've built all of this foundation and you're exploding, now you like biologically have to have kids because if you wait any longer, you're not going to be able to. Okay, yeah. <sighs> That's so cool. Okay, I'm going to get back to her right now. You know, this entrepreneur thing is definitely a lifestyle. You guys all saw the put in the work video and then right after that we followed up with more than nine to five and how if you want to 
be at the top and, and be better than everyone else, then you have to do more than what everyone else does. And even on a day like today, when I'm getting my hair done, I'm gonna be working the whole time. That's where it goes, so I'm not gonna just sit here and relax. So Carly, seven or eight years she's been with Suki's, which is a long time, and she moved over to the Kitsilano location. Yeah, almost, I'm like to almost 10 months now. I almost 10 months, so just under a year. Months. But she's also the manager here at the Kitsilano location. Yeah. You guys have no, no idea how many times I have called Carly I've always been like the little, the go-to, like... Well, you know what happens, because people offer to do my hair. I've had some bad. I wait for all the late Instagram messages. Yeah. Anyways, my point being, Carly is a master at color. She doesn't cut, I don't think she's ever cut my hair. And any time that I've come to see Carly, I always leave with exactly what we talk about. Yeah. Like, I've never left and been like, ah, oh, you know what, this wasn't really what I was thinking. I'm always yeah, like, fun. this is... It worked well. Yeah. Can we tell people about this technique that you're doing here with the back combing? So right now, yeah. you have your dark root on. Yeah. And I'm just grabbing random sections so it doesn't look too stripy. And then what I'm going to do is, if I back combed all the way, it would be very diffused. Right. If I back comb half the way, you're going to have more saturation here. Right. So I'm kind of just grabbing it randomly. So by doing the back combing, we're diffusing it so you don't have too many lines. So I want a right. really nice kind of gradual blend. Yeah. What I loved about your blonde is that I could wear my hair straight. Yes. I could wear it curly. I could wear it back. Is the and it felt big natural. Skin. Ombre, balayage, all that stuff really only looks good on hair with a bit of wave to it. You and have to no have the curl. One every day wants to curl no. your hair. We ain't got time for that. We ain't got time. Diffusing it is really important. So that's a good hair tip for you guys. Yeah. Carly, this is like perfect timing that we're doing this too because I found out yesterday that I'm doing a cover shoot for Boulevard magazine. When? That's amazing. In a couple weeks. Oh, it's in holy. like three weeks. Make sure you come in for a blow dry. Okay. It. Yeah, totally. That's awesome. I know. I know. So this is like great time. I'm like so excited because this is my first cover. This is amazing. Yeah. Come and get your hair done before. Or will they they, they might, okay. um, they have, they might have their team yeah. that, I know, I've been, like as soon as they asked me, I was like, wait, I have a hair person and a makeup yeah. person, <laughs> but I think that they have their team that they want to use. For some reason, if they don't though, I'm yes, done. I will for sure. a little bit it's just a reaction that I have <laughs> just like a tiny tiny trim Wow it's so long and healthy I love it the color's perfect let's say we, we have control with it love you love you thank you so much oh, this is great I'm so happy with it high five girl we did it again. We did it again. We did it again. For anybody that's watching, though, we're going to link your info in the description box and Suki's info so people need to know where to find you. So what I started saying before about being an entrepreneur you live the entrepreneurial life, your personal life and your work life just kind of bleed into each other. There isn't really a real separation where most people, they show up at nine and leave at five or whatever their working hours are. So when they're at work, they're at work. And then when they're off work, they're off work. That is not really the case when you're an entrepreneur and whatever you do in your life has something to do with work. I was reading through a few YouTube questions while I was getting my hair done and someone 
had commented on the last video that went up, the more than nine to five video, they asked, if you work more than nine to five, how do you maintain a healthy relationship? Which I think is a great question. When Chris and I got together, he said from the very beginning that if I have my own business, he knows what that's like and he knows that you're also married to your business, which is very true, especially if you have a really demanding business life and work life. But I think the way that we maintain a really healthy relationship is that we definitely make sure that we have quality time together and that's time without our phones, time to just focus on each other, time to be present and in the moment. And even though you guys watch me on social media and you see what my day looks like, or even if you're over on Instagram, which I hope a lot of you guys are because on Instagram, you get a lot more real time in the moment action. You can see what I'm up to. And if you guys jump over to Instagram, I would love it. Come say hi over there. That's a great place to engage because it's a lot more real time than what we're doing in YouTube. Even though you see a lot of time when the cameras are on, there's still a lot of time when the cameras are off. So yeah, Chris and I really focus on spending a lot of quality time together and that keeps our relationship healthy. And now I am going to head back into the office, check in with my team. I've got a bunch of proposals to write, so it should be pretty quiet in the office for the afternoon, at least I think it will be. I'm always careful to say that because whenever I think I have a quiet day, it's never really that quiet or something happens and it's not quiet at all. to see you thank you for being so patient over the last week and a bit I feel like I got over the hurdle of moving it out did it work out yeah. oh good we're gonna recap on wallpaper and check up on progress and then now when I'm looking at this again just with fresh eyes because I haven't seen this for a while I almost do like this background better yeah. <laughs> I do like that it like it feels fuller, whereas the S one it almost feels a little too empty. It's just too perfect. Mm -hmm. When you see it in a scale like this, and I imagine it in a big room, mm -hmm. the more that it would feel like a stripe. Mm -hmm. This is reading a little bit cartoony again to me, like a crayon more than like a brush to me. Mm -hmm. It is cartoony because it it's outlining everything. Everything. Right. Yeah. yeah. And then when I see it like this again, like I really love this quality, even just looking at this one where it's, it's sketchy and light and then barely there and then a little bit and then really light again and then you just get a little bit of darkness where the leaves are. And then in some areas, like just the watercolor, po like I, mm -hmm. this, I really like that. Okay. Just scaling it down a little bit, I think might look better. Yeah, it's amazing how much one little element like that makes such a big difference, you know, like the brush stroke or whether it's, it looks like a paint stroke or a crayon, you know, strike. It really <laughs> makes a difference, a huge difference. Yeah, I think the grayscale looks gloomy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, maybe we just make it a different color altogether or pull from the emerald and do it super, super light and faded or something. Okay, I wonder if we should just redo the outline first. Right, yeah. like do the outline first and then play with the background. Yeah, so we're pretty much there. It's, it's just the background. Yeah. <laughs> I know I say that every time, but we're even closer than we were last time. There's an opportunity that's come up for us to do a couple of holiday shoots. One is Home for the Holidays. So Home for the Holidays is a seasonal self-guided tour and fundraiser. We basically decorate a home. We wanna do one of the homes for Eminem. 
We've been discussing wallpaper all afternoon and talking about Christmas styling already because I guess it's time. And we've got a couple campaigns that are coming up. Let's look at the other stuff. I really want to see it. If you have time. Mm -hmm. You okay? Yeah. So what's your new one? I'm excited. I don't know. This is like, this is too much. I feel this is, I'm surprised. I didn't even know we were going to talk about this today. So this is good. I love, I love these tones. Mm -hmm. So pretty, actually. Pinks, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I love the mood board. Mm -hmm. yeah. I can't do anything if I don't see it. No. It's like if it's audio, it's just like in one ear and out the other. <laughs> but if I see it, I'll remember it. That's like... It's so insanely visual. Yeah. So You're the same way. Yeah. I think it's got to be maybe like a creative artist thing. Yeah, maybe. Like, like even, even if I just see a schedule and then I know, and that's because my schedule is like so color coded right now. Diane, have you seen what my schedule looks like lately? Everything is color coded wow. and then I put my week in. And, and so when I look at it, I can, it's like very organized now. I just know what's happening because I need to see the color coding though. And if someone tells me something, I can't. I just don't know. <laughs> but if I see it, then it makes sense. <laughs> it works. <laughs> it's weird. Visual communication, though, right? Yes. That's what it is. Yeah. Totally. So are you wanting us to pick a direction for the lemon prints? Or what were you thinking? Oh, I just wanted to show. Yeah, I think that would be like the next step like, mm -hmm. out of these mood boards. Okay, so what I like about this board. Once I thought you were mine, baby. We're safe and sound. You got me waiting. I'm on fire. You got me waiting. My desire. I follow your heartbeat. Now there's the flamingo one. That's cool too. Mm -hmm. Very kind of like retro. Mm -hmm. I love watching period like shows mm -hmm. love you sh you guys should have you seen vinyl no. have you watched that no. there's only one season of it so there's 10 episodes but they're like an hour long and it's set for sure in the 70s so the clothes the clothes are unbelievable and even like the mugs and the I don't know, they're just they're like the mustaches that people have it's, <laughs> it's so cool that was the show that we were into we watched the the finale last night which is always a bummer because now I'm like oh, now what are we gonna watch okay so I'm just gonna leave the wallpaper in your hands you know what to do right mm -hmm. you feel good about it yeah okay I don't know if it's gonna happen anytime soon but I was telling the team you guys have been missing out on these conversations because you haven't been around you haven't been around but um we were I was just talking to the team about like wanting to move into a new office space and how my my vision is to be like the vogue of interior design mm -hmm. and that one office space that I think you guys heard about it's almost like a bigger more organized version of this and then it's got like one big room on the other side that I would probably claim is like my office slash studio space because it's got light coming in from both sides a big wall that I feel like we could set up and do as like a backdrop mm -hmm. if we're setting up like a photo shoot or something we could do it in there Anyways, it's a really cool space. I, I really, really want to move in there. And also too, like now after moving into my place, even though it's not done, but having a space that really feels like it reflects my personality and all that stuff. Like I really want to have an office space that feels like it reflects House of Bon, you know? And that it, where everyone can be in the space and it's just like a really big creative space and there's like lots of different things going on more room for meetings, like a boardroom, and then way more space to actually pin up like mood boards and stuff. Yeah, yeah. it'd be so That's cool. It, it, that is the dream, it is the dream, I know. It could happen. Okay, I'm just gonna do these dishes, I'll be back. It will happen.